Do you realise I have spent the last hour writing cheques? Have you come to the end? None of the bills, just my bank account. Oh. <laughs> well, I won't bother you with the other one, then. Other one? From the garage. Garage? Yeah, you remember. Do I? Hmm. My oil change. Oh. Well, that's only about nine quid, isn't it? Uh-huh. Plus fixing the trafficator. All right, let me have it. And the new tyres. New tyres? Yeah. How many? Five. Five? <laughs> Four and, and a spare. spare. <laughs> you do realise that's going to cost me over £100? Yeah, but they said if the police had seen them, I could have got fined. Must have been cheaper than getting five new tyres. <laughs> but the rest of the items were really very small. Oh, the odd door, steering no. wheel. Spark plugs. <sighs> well, I may as well be hung for a sheep. Where is this trifling bill? I put it on the mantelpiece. The mantelpiece? Next to the rapes. The rapes? <laughs> You're repeating everything I say, darling. When did they arrive? Well, second post, but I didn't want to spoil dinner, so I thought we'd keep them till breakfast tomorrow. I don't think we can afford breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> now, why are we so broke? We don't even have the children anymore. We do have your mother living rent-free in the granny house at the bottom of the garden. Oh, well, you surely wouldn't expect her to pay for it. No. I'd ask her to leave and get in someone who will. <laughs> now you're being spiteful. Rates do that to people. Do you want a drink? Please. I mean, we're not extravagant. Normal, everyday expenses for a house of this size. Why don't we move, then? Move? Hmm, sell the house. Sell the house? You're repeating everything I say, darling. <laughs> and you're out of your cotton-picking mind, darling. I, I couldn't move from this house. Why not? Oh, there are dozens of reasons. Name one. I've just planted 400 bulbs in the back garden. <laughs> Well, we'll dig them up, take them with us. Oh, you're mad. No, just practical. We no longer need a big house. No, not at this very, very moment. But Tom and Emma might want to come to visit with our grandchildren. Hester, they're not even married yet. Yeah, well, they might have love children. <laughs> then I am definitely moving. <laughs> Can you imagine what the neighbours would say? We've talked about this before, and we've always said that we would stay. Well, we can move and start afresh. I'd be thoroughly lonely. All our friends live round here. They can still be our friends wherever we were. Oh, we'd never see them. But my whole life is centred in barns. I, I go to the Institute for classes. I cook at Lucy's kitchen. And imagine not having Sonia next door. Imagine. <laughs> no, don't be mean. She's a very dear friend. <laughs> the way she ploughs into my brandy, they don't come any dearer. <laughs> Look, she's got a heart of gold. When it comes to a crisis, there's nothing she wouldn't do for us. All right. Get her on the phone. What for? Ask her to chip in with some of our rates. <laughs> 3294. Hester? Hello, Mother. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, dear. No, no, no bother. Uh, is William there? No, no, he's just gone out. Oh. Will you tell him that I'm having trouble with my pressure cooker? Well, there's not much point, dear. He can't even boil an egg. Um, why don't you ask me? I I'm the chef. Yes, I know, dear, but it's developed a mechanical fault. Oh, dear. What is it? It blew up. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, uh, are you all right? Yes, of course I'm all right. Oh, well, I suppose your lunch is on the ceiling. Uh... No, it's on the table. I forgot to put it in. <laughs> Tom says he might be moving from that farm in Cromarty. Can't say I blame him. Stuck up there in the wilds. Where's he moving to? New Guinea. <laughs> You're not serious. Well, read for yourself. That boy's got itchy feet. Yes, like father, like son. Look, I never suggested that we should emigrate. I'd settle for Thames Ditton. Oh. Found a snip in the paper at 80,000, have we? No. But there's no harm in testing the ground, is there? Getting hold of an agent. Mm. 3294? Esther? Oh, hello, Mother. Hello, dear. How are you? Well, I think I've got a slight cold. I wonder if you'd mind going to the library and changing my book. No, of course not. I hate bothering you. No, no bother, honestly. Oh, sure, good. Oh, and is William there? He's uh, having his breakfast. 
I'd like him to look at the plug on my television set. It was making the most peculiar noises last night. Are you sure it wasn't Top of the Pops? Oh, no. <laughs> Tell him there's absolutely no hurry. I will. Uh, after breakfast will do. <laughs> Collected your orders for the day. Ah, one of them's yours. She wants a plug mended. I can't. I'll be late. My God, she's quick. <laughs> Sonia. Hello, dear. Morning, William. Morning, Sonia. <laughs> you won't believe it, but I'm on the scrub. I believe it. <laughs> Cheeky. What do you want? <laughs> Only milk. Oh, that makes a change. We haven't a drop in the house, and I can't start the day without my cornflakes. And who tried eating them with water? <laughs> Is he always like this first thing? No, sometimes he can be quite rude. <laughs> I've only got a pint. Oh, well, that'll have to do. I'll bring you some back when the milkman's been. Hang on a minute. Supposing I want some more coffee. Have you tried water? <laughs> You're right, I'd miss her. <laughs> I'm sorry to mention it, dear. And William never came to look at my television set. No, well, he's been putting in some overtime, Mother. Oh. He had the rates in yesterday and he dared even open them. Oh, well, we'd better go easy with him. Yeah, I think we'd better. He's threatening to move. <sighs> Done that before. I know. Well, I can see the logic of it, but it would break my heart to go. And you told him so? Of course. Oh, let me give you a tip. When you're dealing with a stubborn man, never thwart him. It only makes him dig his toes in, agree with him. Say, yes, dear, I'll go down to the agents tomorrow morning. Get as many offers as you can. He'll be so fed up with people tramping around the house and criticising it that he'll, he'll soon give up. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, I speak from experience. When your father told me he wanted a divorce, I didn't fight him. I took the wind right out of his sails and agreed to it. But you were divorced. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, oh yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can't win them all. <laughs> Evening, old boy. Hello, Guy. Good to see you. And you. Hold on a minute. Well, what brings you here? I just dropped by to see my favorite daughter and son-in-law. And what about your favorite ex-wife? Ah, ah, you guessed. Well, I think it's about time I tested the temperature again and dip a toe in the ocean. I should warn you, it's likely to be freezing. Oh, I don't mind that, old boy. I just hope the tide hasn't gone out. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Would like some more brandy, Guy? I'd love some, thank you. Well, that was a splendid dinner, Esther. Thank you. You know, you take after your mother. She was a wonderful cook. Temperamental, of course, but then all good cooks are. Oh, I'm not temperamental, am I, darling? Occasionally. Give me an instance. Well, you gave me rather a lot of flack when I suggested selling the house. No, oh, you're not selling, are you? No, we haven't decided yet. Trouble is, every time I mention it, Esther flies off the handle. William, dear, we'll go and see the estate agent first thing in the morning. Really? Of course. I see very little flat there, old boy. <laughs> if you want to sell up and buy a little bungalow somewhere, then I won't complain. As long as we're together, I could live in a shack. Well, what have you got to say to that? Not a lot. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Yes, lovely. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I, I think I might pop over and have one with Nancy. Oh, no, she's beaten you to it. She's on her way here. Oh, well, I, I don't want to give her a shock. I, I, I'll go into the hall and I'll wait for a moment until she's settled down and then I'll casually wander in. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Come in, Mother. William. A nuisance, but you still haven't looked at my television set. Oh, I'm sorry, Nancy. I had to work today. <laughs> Would you like some coffee, Mother? Yeah. No, thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your visitor? Visitor? <coughs> now, what makes you think we've got a visitor? Well, if you haven't, your hall's on fire. <laughs> See if you can guess who it is. As not many women smoke cigars, I assume it's a man. Getting warm. Mm. Guy. 
<laughs> There's no fooling you, Wilson, my dear. No, not anymore. <laughs> May I say, you look absolutely ravishing. I've got a sore throat. It doesn't show. Oh, the man's a fool. Probably because I'm in love again with my Nancy. I am not your Nancy. A mere technicality that can always be remedied. I suppose I don't want it remedied. I don't think you've given the matter much thought. Well, that isn't strictly true. Ah. I haven't given it any. <laughs> well, I must admit, Dad, that if uh, William deserted me and came back many years later, I think I'd probably feel much the same way. Ah, remember that, old boy. Oh, I will. Have a drink, Nancy. Unfortunately, William is not the sort of man to go running away. He's very solid and dependable. Ah, how's that for a character reference? Makes me feel like a Volvo. <laughs> I dare say your engine still revs when you see a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> Cheers. Happy days. <laughs> when did you last rev, dear? <laughs> I can't remember a particular occasion. Oh, often is that, eh? <laughs> Let's deal with one problem at a time, shall we? Quite right. Now, if you two are thinking of moving, poor old Nancy here will be in a hell of a spot. So the obvious solution is that she should move in with me. How does that grab you, Nancy? <laughs> By the throat. <laughs> oh, there you are. Are you OK? I'm all right. You do know it's three o'clock in the morning. Is it? Most people tend to sleep at this hour. Well, I'm not stopping you. Well, what are you doing? Having a last look round. Oh, Hester, for heaven's sake. We're not leaving tomorrow, you know. It could be months. The agent said so. There's no sense in getting broody now. Well, I can't help how I feel. Maybe I was a little hasty. But the fact remains we should move to a smaller place. Our peace of mind is much more important than any old house. But this isn't any old house. It's a very special one. Oh, there isn't a corner of it that isn't part of me. You're incredibly sentimental, you know. You can feel like that about another house. No, it wouldn't be the same. Look, the children were born here. Oh. Emma took her first steps in the garden at 11 <coughs> months. 16. No, darling, 11. It was Tom who didn't walk until 16 months. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he used to crawl around everywhere. Yeah, he could go like a rocket. <laughs> he could even keep up with that dog we had. What was it called? Plod? <laughs> no, it was Spot. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Plod was the tortoise. We never had a tortoise, did we? Mm, yeah, Emma won it at the fair. No, no, that was the goldfish, the one that died. Oh, well, then Emma must have bought the tortoise at a pet shop. No, no, that was Tom. I distinctly remember walking with him to the pet shop just after he'd had the measles. Mumps. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, of course I am. We all got it. Don't you remember? You were very worried. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I still am. <laughs> anyway, I remember the fellow in the pet shop saying... Shall I put it in a box? And Tom saying, no, I think I'll walk it home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then every winter we'd put it in a box in the attic and then one spring when we opened it up, poor thing was dead and we had to bury it under the rhododendrons. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog kept digging it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Emma's budgie. <laughs> Budgies can't dig. <laughs> Well, what's the matter now? Nothing. He's just remembering all those happy times. <laughs> Come here. Oh. What's your name again? <laughs> I tell you, if he gets the right price, he's going to sell. Hasn't he thought of all the friends he'll leave behind? Yes. We may never find such understanding neighbours as us. I agree. I mean, we put up with his funny ways, but some people might think he was being rude. How he can think of going and leaving me in total isolation, I can't imagine. Well, I've been trying to follow your advice, Mother, but it somehow doesn't seem to be working. What time are the first people coming to view? 
About four. Come along, Sonia. You and I have got work to do. Have we? Now, don't forget to show him around the garden, Hester. Why? Because we are going to make it one of the more interesting features. <laughs> well, shall we start with the kitchen? Certainly. It's quite small, isn't it? Oh, yes, but you get used to that after a few years, and it seats sort of six. Do you mean you eat here? Yes. <laughs> what about the dining room? The dining... Oh, oh, <laughs> now you mean the study. Well, the agent said there were two reception rooms. Ah, yes, well, he's right, up to a point. I mean, it could be a dining room, but we made the mistake of putting a sideboard in there. I should have thought that was the proper place for it. Oh, yes, absolutely, but then you can't get the table and chairs in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I sort of use it for sewing and painting, and the dog has her puppies in there. <laughs> Are you leaving all the equipment? Yes. <laughs> no, the fridge only needs mopping out uh, once a week, and the stove's not bad if you remember to give everything an extra 20 minutes. Perhaps we could replace them. No, no, we've been into that, and they reckon if you remove them, it might weaken the walls. I see. Would you say the house was accessible? Well, it depends where you're coming from, really. It's very handy for Portsmouth or Brighton. My husband works north of the river. Oh, well, there are a couple of bridges. I know. It took us ten minutes to cross Hammersmith Bridge. Caught it on a good day, then. A good day? Well, it can sometimes be a bit of a hold-up. More than ten minutes? Oh, I can see you don't know about Hammersmith Bridge. <laughs> Is there a better one? Not really, no. Um, my husband works in the city, and he reckons if you're on the road by 7.30 in the morning, straight through. 7.30? You can't be serious. Well, no, perhaps I am overselling a bit. It might be a bit more honest to say seven. You could live in the heart of the country if you start that early. Yes, yes. Well, you see, that is the beauty of Barnes. It's just like a village, but on the doorstep of the West End. Quite. <laughs> now, according to the agent, you only have one bathroom. To our knowledge, but then we've only lived here for 20 years. <laughs> uh, there is a cloakroom. Is there a shower in it? Only when you pull the chain. <laughs> well, the cistern is a bit dodgy, you see, but we're having it fixed. Is that the garden? Oh, you spotted it. Yes. Uh, well, we have all our meals out there in the summer. It's as good as a villa in the south of France. May we see it? Well, I was going to save the best till last, but we may as well pop out there. <laughs> I know you think this is silly, but we call it our fairy glade. <laughs> ah, there now. Isn't it a picture? I beg your pardon? I said, isn't it a picture? How often do you get these, Jeff? I beg your pardon? Do you often get these, Jeff? Oh, only in the summer. Sorry? irritating. No, not really. One gets so few fine days in England. Yeah, what's that building at the bottom of the uh, garden? It's the granny house. Well, there's no mention of a granny house here. Well, it belongs to a very sweet old lady, Mrs. Penrose. She's no trouble. You mean we'd have to share the garden? Oh, no problem. She hardly ever comes down. My God, what's that? What's that? Tight, all right. Oh, don't worry, that's only Sonia. <laughs> Oh, you couldn't have a nicer neighbour. She's so amenable. I'm going to turn it down, shall I? Sonia! Sonia! <laughs> it's a bit on the loud side, love. What is? The music. Oh, is it mine? I think so. Oh, it's a bit difficult to tell when you're smoking this uh, stuff. <laughs> Again, Sonia. You got company? Yes, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Highsmith might be buying the house. Oh, lovely. Come and see us at the weekend. We're having a bit of a rave up. <laughs> You'll never be lonely with her around.
Nearly finished. Yes, I've just about plucked up enough courage to deal with these rakes. Oh, keep a stiff upper lip, dear. Hmm. Oh, um, did anyone come to view the house yesterday? Yes, why? Well, I've had a very strange letter from the estate agent. Really? Yeah, read it yourself. <coughs> um, in view of the report from our clients, we would like to be released from handling the above property. Well, what does he mean by that? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Every house nowadays has to have two bathrooms. Damn cheek. Some houses haven't even got one. <laughs> Will you try another agent? Oh, I suppose so. Good God. I don't believe it. What is it? What's the matter? The rates. We've had a rebate. 